Hello, it's Kylie Batucci, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia here with you with an amazing card using Celebration products. And I think these are some of our favorite Celebration products that we've had. It is this gorgeous painted season stamp set. Love! The sentiment is from part of my story and the paper, surprisingly, is our butterfly uh what's the last bit butterfly botanicals i'm pretty sure it is so many celebration items i can't get my head around them all in fact i'll get my catalog and make sure because i don't want to be leading you up a garden path because <laughs> i have been known to do that before botanical butterfly i just had it around the other way so close but not close enough so these are the beautiful products that I'll be using today. This gorgeous ribbon here is from our Occasions catalogue. Name has totally gone, but I will find that out for you. Have a look at the links below and you will see. So I have, as per usual, mixed up the colours, mixed up the paper, and I've added a few little tips and tricks. You might be wondering, how did I get this little flower to look like this? let me show you and you can copy it very easy all my cards are very easy another thing I'd like to say before we jump in is thank you all so much for sharing my videos I've heard a lot of you are spreading the videos around we really appreciate that because we're at 4,900 subscribers here on YouTube I am so excited because it's growing really quickly can't wait to get to 5,000. I'm sure we'll do some sort of special prize or something. So please share. We're only 100 people away from 5,000 subscribers. Can't believe it. I've got some um, friends. They've got little kids and they're like uh, they're little Indian kids and they are so cute because they love following YouTubers. And they're always like, do you know that Kylie has like 4,000 YouTube subscribers and they think I'm really cool? because I have my own YouTube channel. Yeah, Kylie has her own YouTube channel. She's a YouTuber. <laughs> so, I'm, trust me, I'm not cool. <laughs> but I think it's really cute that they're all telling each other. So please, spread the word. Let's jump in and make this amazing card today. So, jumping on in, hello there. In case you're wondering what I'm using, it's Switcher Studio. I get a lot of questions about this. And the background is from Ikea. The inserts are from a man in Australia. So I'm sorry for everyone else. Hopefully we can find someone in the US that can make these shelves for you because everyone loves them. So let me show you a few little tips and tricks with this card. Very, very fast and very simple. I have decided to go with the petal pink base. Now, this is a really, really exciting. I have used the botanical butterfly paper. But what I decided to do was mix things up, you know, do a little bit, a bit of different things here and use my blends to colour in the background. So I have done most of it here to save time. Yeah, you don't want to watch me colouring in. You'd rather watch me just chatting on, right? <laughs> so I just come on in here and you can just do sweeping motions if you like, if you don't want to colour. Just sort of sweep along and very quickly and easily you can colour this base in. That is going to be our base layer there. Then what I did with the flower, and I'm going to show you, I used the amazing Stamparatus for this. So let's bring that on in. The star of the show, our Stamparatus. Here it is here, all ready to go. I was literally about to go, where's the Stamparatus? <laughs> those who know me know I'm not an organized person this organization is all Bruno <laughs> he's so good for me so what we have here is some petal pink and this is our beautiful painted season stamp set that you have to get the only way to get this amazing stamp set right now is if you place an order and it is over $180, you get this as part of a bundle. So there's this and there's some gorgeous paper that goes with it. And that is the only way you can get your hands on this right now. 
and probably for a long time because there are amazing framelits that go with this now and I don't think people are going to let go of their celebration items too quickly because these amazing framelits, you will be able to purchase these from the 1st of March and they coordinate with this stamp set. So the stamp set is free with every $180 purchase and you get paper as well. The framelits, however, you can purchase. And these framelits are going to be, I'm trying to read this writing and it's very small. It's $48 for these framelits. So these framelits will be released for one month, beginning March. And I think what's going to happen is because we can't, as demonstrators, sell these framelits until next April. So April 2020, we can sell these framelits as a retired product. And because of that, I think a lot of people are going to be holding on to their celebration items for a little bit longer and not selling them as retired products. So if you're one of those people that think, oh, you know what, I don't need to spend any money and get it free. I can just buy it later. Hmm. Don't depend on that because it may not happen. So the best thing you can possibly do is to get some freebies, get some items and get it as a freebie. That is my suggestion for you. So enough of that. Petal pink, here we go. Onto the stamping. We don't want anyone complaining. <laughs> Anyone who watches my channel though, you all know I love to chat. So it just comes with the video. It's just part and parcel. So I have stamped that onto there. Oh, we missed a bit. It doesn't matter. That's the beauty of the Stamparatus. I don't have to stress and go, oh my goodness, I totally messed this up. No, just come on in, stamp again. In fact, it will probably add more to my image. Stamp that. And it might be that I'm a bit close to the top. It is. I haven't had this, but oh no, it's worked. So much drama. Really no drama about anything. And I probably was stamping a bit, a little bit low. I was stamping up there thinking it was up there. No, Kylie, wrong spot. But you do have to be careful with this hinge. It is known that if you are closer to that hinge, that sometimes it misses a bit there. So you just have to make sure that you're low enough. Yay, look how beautiful that looks. Now, our next step is to get the Poppy Parade markers. Now, if you don't have these Stamp and Write markers, they are very different to the blends. The blends are alcohol-based. These are water-based. So these are, are mainly used, well, the main reason I use them is on the rubber stamps and to blend in different colours. And there really is nothing like these pens. They, there's no other pen that does this sort of amazing work. So what I'm doing is just coming into all the creases and also around the outside of the flower. Now you can add as much or as little ink as you like. And as I always say, try different colours. Mix it up a bit and maybe you could use Gorgeous Grape as the base, or I mean Highland Heather, and then do Gorgeous Grape as the layer over the top, like I'm doing here with the Poppy Parade, and you can just get the most amazing colours from this. So we'll go a little bit in here. I'm just changing my light direction so that I can see it properly. Actually, you can see that pretty well with that video. So we'll stamp that and see what that looks like. Oh, so we need a little bit around here. We probably had a little bit too much here. Kylie went a little excited here, but what I do like is that you can come back in. So that bit down there is that bit, okay, good. So I need to add a little bit here just to compensate because it, it's sort of, if you do the same on each side, it will hopefully make up for that side. <laughs> hopefully, he's hoping. <laughs> Keeping it real here on Kylie's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, what is going on? Kylie has clearly used way too much ink. I've got way too excited here. Let's just add the black and see what happens. If not, we'll just do another one. 
I want to see where that petal is. Where's that petal? Oh yeah, that's that petal. Let's do this and see if this mixes things up a bit. I love that with the step writers, you can just keep playing around with it. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> I'll just keep trying new things. This one here, let's see what we can do here. Oh, ho, ho. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, what I want to do is get some basic black and I think this will bring it all together. Because it, it, at the moment, it's looking a bit of a mess, if you ask me. Like, what is going on here? But sometimes it's just the last little element that you add that brings it all together. We've all done that before. We're like, where is this even going? So let's do this and see if it all brings it together. I'm happy now. Are you happy now? I'm happy now. Isn't it? It's so weird. It was looking like a big globby mess before the middle, but I really like it. So there you go. That is how simple it is. So try it with different colours, mix it up, mash it up, and you will come up with your own little technique and things that you want to do, but you definitely need the Stamparatus because it is the best tool ever. Now, to save a little bit of time because you know you don't want to be watching me big shot. I did this one here. So let's compare these two. So you can see I've used, oh, there's still quite a little bit there as well. Probably a little bit more black. So there we go there. So they're the two. And as it tones down, like as this lightens, because the markers are quite inky. So, you know, it might need to tone down a little bit and lighten as it dries. And you can see here this beautiful flower that we've got. And as I said, try different colours. Now, I have already done the leaves as well. The leaves are done in the granny apple green. And this is the old olive. It doesn't really stand out, but I thought the old olive just gives it a different look. So that's this beautiful leaf here and this one here. And then I've just laid it on the back with some tear and tape. Very messy on the back, but no one sees it. Top secret. No one sees it. Just 5,000 people that are watching my video. <laughs> secrets out <laughs> and I've already stamped this as well and this is for my inside and then I've got this beautiful beautiful ribbon here which I don't have my occasions catalog but am I am I channeling it no it's it hasn't come to me I'm thinking linen <gasps> something wax flax is it something like flax anyway we'll find it later I'll put it I'll put it on the links below so that stamp set you're my chosen family, part of my story, another celebration set that is free with every $90 purchase here in Australia. So if you're in Australia, you could shop with me. I would love you to shop with me. I love new customers and I love my beautiful loyal ones too. They're so cute. So let's put all of this together. Come on, Kylie, back to it. <laughs> I'm just grabbing my Tombow. Hi. So we'll put this down. I know, don't cry about the paper on the back. Remember, we've got to love it, chop it. It's all right. You can just get some more freebie, freebie paper, because this is the celebration freebie paper that's every $90 purchase you can get this paper. And I give you permission to get more, okay? So you've just got to keep using your paper. Now I'm going to stick this on the back. And look, look at this. Do you like this? See, I tried it once, it didn't work. So I just used it. No one will know what's on the back. See, no one, not any of you that are watching know that I've got this on the back of my sentiment. It's okay, don't get too fastidious. Is that a word? Did I just make that up? But yeah, don't get, don't get like too perfectionism on me. I know all you OCD people out there are freaking out right now, but it's really okay. Because no one will know. No one's going to rip apart your card to see if you use. In fact, this is environmentally conscious. That's what this is. <laughs> this is caring for our environment. <laughs> oh, I love that ribbon. It just makes it pop. It's so good. And then I'm going to use my dimensionals, which I keep in my clear mount case. Because it's just the best storage ever. 
thank you Stampin' Up! for our cases. We love them. We want them to stay forever. And that one. And I'm going to stick that down. Look at me, I'm like, come on, you can come off. When I have my Jamboree nails on, I find it really hard to take the backing off. So you can always use your snips. Snips are good. Now, because it's quite a small little flower here, you want to sort of raise it up a little bit. Oh, I want to move it over a little bit. I like that the flax actually doesn't stick. <laughs> there we go. That's better because then at least each side is as close to the edge. And this we're also going to raise and put it in the middle there. So we're going to use some more dimensionals because dimensionals rock. They're like the best thing ever. And no one will even know it's messy behind here. Because sometimes I stick it all down, but I think the easiest thing is just get some tear and tape, put it at the back, and then you can layer each bit, stick it on the back. It's just nice and easy that way. Now, which direct? I think that's really nice. I like that they're pointing up into the corner there. And that, my friends, is our card. And then we just do our insert. No naked cards. We don't want them doing nudie runs. No nudie runs in the Batucci household. I'm always telling Bruno, your card's doing a nudie run. You've left it nude again. Nude. You want to make it more pretty and nice. Because it's part of our card making. It's so nice. And then you go inside. Sometimes if I'm doing a big bulk amount, I don't necessarily put the little stamp or the paper, but I always do the, at least the whisper white section. I always do that inside. But when you're doing like a special card, like not in bulk, it's beautiful to have the matching inside. So there you go. There are my hot tips. I really hope you use the colouring in with the blends. And if you don't have the stamp and write markers, I used the basic black and the poppy parade today, but they are just so wonderful. They are just such awesome things to use. I'm hoping that Stampin' Up, usually majority of the time we just have our sentiments in polymer, which I love, but I also really love our rubber stamps. So I'm hoping that they stick around so that we can keep using our markers because the polymer it doesn't do too well with the markers, the water water markers. Um, it's great if you want sort of like a watercolor look, but they they are more for the rubber um, markers. So that that's my top tips. But I think it's worth it. We have so many beautiful rubber stamps that you can use those stamp and write markers with. So thank you for being here. Please subscribe. Please click the bell so that you get notifications. And if you have any comments for me, please let me know. I love hearing from you all. And thank you for being here. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Oh, hang on. I'll do this first. Hello there. And I'll do my little card. You ready? I'll get both of them. You can see me. You can witness the screenshot. See, that's my YouTube screenshot right there. Thanks for being here to watch it. <laughs> it saves me time later. <laughs> I'm all about time, safe time. <laughs> Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you soon.